Hello fellow leggers, you're joining us once again on a wet, windy evening here in London's West End, but we are at the Harold Pinter Theatre. And we are spending an evening with what can only be described as a legend of legend. stage and screen. And it seems only fitting that we're just down the road from Buckingham Palace, because move over, Elizabeth, there's another queen in town tonight, and that is Ian McKellen and his one-man show, Ian McKellen on stage with Tolkien, Shakespeare, others, and you. And me, and you. you and Ooh, all of exciting. us. And you fellow leggers, come with us and stick around, find out how many stars. Uh, whether it's break a leg or leg, leg it. it. excited about this um it's a long one yeah can i, I mean, drop in with that straight away i mean you can but, but i mean what let's life. just talk about the He's fact had. that this guy has been in the industry for almost 60 years that's so impressive i'm sure he's got a lot to say he's celebrating his 80th birthday by wow. taking to the road on an 80 day uk tour um, which has already happened, but right. now he's dropped into the West End for an 80 day run here at the Harold Pinter Theatre. See what he's doing there. Do you know, for an 80th birthday, some people just go on a cruise. <laughs> some, some, some people would just have a nice little holiday, wouldn't they? Not Sir Ian, who is using this production to raise funds for a whole host of theatre charities and personally holding a collection bucket at the end of every show. If you didn't love him enough already. I know, right? If he wasn't already a national treasure. I mean, that's, that's great. Now, Sir Ian made his professional debut at the Belgrade Theatre Coventry, our local theatre, in 1961 and has gone on to feature in hundreds of theatrical productions since, picking up six Olivier Awards a, yeah. and a Tony on the way. As you do. As you do. Now on screen he's been equally as successful and he has a Golden Globe, a Screen Actors Guild and two Saturn Awards alongside two Oscar nominations. Just nominations? Just nominations. I've gone right off the Oscars. Yeah, do you know? Nah. Do, I mean, what do they mean anyway? What do they mean? What do they even mean? Now he rose to mega stardom quite late in his career in the year 2000 onwards after he portrayed Ma Magneto in the X-Men films and then of course Gandalf in Peter Jackson directed Lord of the Rings series. Yes, no, it's worth saying that he was already mega before then yeah, as an but actor not here in the UK. Astronomical. Known for productions of Bent, um, yeah. also what am I thinking, his Shakespearean works. Yeah, a lot of Macbeth. work with the RSC. Do you know, was just, but I guess that's when he became commercial. Yeah, that's when he became a household you name. You shall not pass! That's, that's the iconic. I don't need to go right? in now. Do you reckon uh, it's going to be in there? Of course it's going to be in there. Along with loads of other... I'll bring down the house. ...little anecdotes that he's promising us that span his illustrious more than half a century in theatre. OK. As you mentioned, a long one. It's three hours, including the interval. So settle in, you know, have a drink. <laughs> Let's see what he's well, not got. not drink too much. Not drink too much. Got to get but let's see what he's got to say. There is an interval, because I mean, let's face it, we'll all need a bit of a break. So stick around for a 30 second interval breakdown. And to the end, to hear all of our thoughts and I guess find out how many starts. We've come to the interval, which means it's time for the break of Leggers. 30, 30 second, second interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. No. Oh, what do you think so far? Um, we said it would be a long one, right? Two hours, four, five minutes? Yeah. I don't feel as if that's enough. I think I could do a Ken Dodd and stay here for the night, do like a 17 hour because the stories are so interesting and so engagingly told. How about you? Absolutely. I mean, this is the closest thing you're going to come to a dinner party with Ian McKellen. If you've ever coveted like, the ideal dinner party guest and he's featured on your list, then come and see this. This guy has got stories for weeks and they're so engagingly told. He moves around like a man of half his age. He's incredible. It's the end, fellow leggers, of Ian McKellen on stage. Um, just him. How did you find it, Legger Simon? I mean, I've got to say, much like the complete works of Shakespeare and of Lord of the Rings itself, it's an epic. It really is an epic. Yet, you can tell you are merely scratching the surface of what this guy has lived. As an actor, he has lived a thousand lives within his one life, within his 80 years. And to hear him recount these stories full of humour, full of wit, full of 
do you know what? It gave me sort of hope for my own future in a lot of ways that I could get to, I could get to 80 and I could still be as sprightly and as switched on, as enthusiastic about life as Sir Ian McKellen is. He is an absolute marvel. No, no pun intended. You know, like, yeah, get See, it. did there. Get it. Anyway, moving on. And he's an inspiration. I think he's an inspiration to, for, for a, you know what, a huge group of different people for the LGBT community, for actors in general, for octogenarians. He's just an inspiration. Um, I think it's a really well put together piece because it is a piece. It's a stage piece. It's him live on stage, but it's a collection of his stories and his... Um, yeah, his experiences, but put into a narrative, and he performs that narrative with ease and from experience, because I can imagine that even though it's his story, he must be saying it over and over again, yet it feels as fresh. There's something to his pace that just makes it so reflective. He knows when to stop and just pause and to step it down. He knows how to sell. His craft is oozing off the stage. He can sell it right to the back of the gods. In the use of his body is huge. It's just so fluid. Yep. And his use of language is so nice. Yep. Um, it's a piece of two acts in yes. a way. So the first act is very much uh, his lived experiences, his, him kind of being introduced to the theatre, getting the bug for theatre. Coming to terms starting, with his sexuality. Yeah, starting with amateur theatre. It's very theater. personal. Yeah, and personal in personal message. One. Act one. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Some of the, uh, it starts off really well as well with a little homage to um, Lord of the Rings. Yes, with that. Starting off in the right you place. You shall not pass speech is but what But in a different way as well. In, in kind of a bit, bit of a different spin because it's kind of reading from the original the text. The original text, yeah. So that, and that's really nice to kind of, you, you can visualise it from in his voice. Second act, I thought it was a bit different. Yeah. It's very much then about Shakespeare. Yes. And the works of Shakespeare. Very interactive. He's talking to the audience. He's got his set pieces, but he's very much led from us, whatever we suggest he then goes with. Um, now, the Shakespeare I knew, I enjoyed. There were bits that I didn't know as well, and I got a bit disengaged, personally, but I enjoyed him just watching but him those pieces, on stage. But those pieces where you, that you didn't, you weren't as familiar with, are certain audience members' yeah. favourite Shakespeare. That's, yeah, you know, absolutely. art is so subjective. So, so I can only talk from my point of yeah, view. From every, but yeah, from every moment where you felt disengaged because he wasn't talking about one of your favourites, was someone else's favourite moment. Yeah, and everybody loved it because yeah. it's funny. Yeah, it is it's really been, funny. It's been crafted and written with humour in mind, repeated yep. jokes, um, right from the start, right to the end. And sure Sean Mathias's direction is such as he has let him sort of it feels like he's got free reign although we imagine I imagine every single syllable is so carefully Absolutely. placed yep. um, you know every pause every oops um, every sort of almost I forgot about that it is it's, they could be set falling down around him craft. and he would not miss a beat. Yeah, absolutely. He's got it nailed. He knows how to make it work. Absolutely. And it's his story and he owns it. Yep. Um, in terms of sort of prop, there's no set really. There's a box of props, which is... There's a lot of rugs. a lovely method for him to be able to tell the story. Like to yep. have those, those props and those physical memories. It's about attaching a memory to a physical piece and bringing it out and going, oh... Like, you know, I remember this, sort of a surprise every time, but it's just lovely. It's just, like I say, a joy to watch a man of his experience and his age tell his story. We've seen him before, we've seen him in P in plays, we've seen him in um, No Man's Land. We have. Uh, which, which he was great in, but if you don't love the play, you're never going to love it. But you can't help but to fall in love with Ian McKellen, again and again and again. And I think that what he's doing is amazing as well. Yeah. Not just for his 80th birthday, but the idea of this box that he gets all the set from, he Kind of sticks onto it all the locations that he's been to yeah and that this is about raising money for theater causes and that makes what a legend. i mean no wonder if, if he wasn't you know knighted can you be knighted again can you be can double you be knighted? double knighted can uh, you be double ended maybe you can be I want to know, um, no. because I think he should be. I think it, it, this, this is enough to raise this amount of money across the country. I think a knighthood is enough. Need, a knight, a knighthood's enough. A knighthood's just not he enough. He needs a dame as well. He's got a CBE well. and a knighthood, I believe. But it's still not enough. Them throw them at him. Throw, yeah, make him a dame. Why Pokemon, not? Pokemon, you've got to catch them all. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like we, I've been so enthusiastic about seeing him on stage, but I sort of forget that you've got a bit of a history with him, because you've I performed... Do? 
with, for oh, him. Oh, in front of it. Yeah, he was in the audience, and wasn't he? Yes, he you've was. you've met him before. Yes. And when you were directing Bent, because of his attachment with the original production, he sent you a lovely he note. He sent us a lovely letter. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, what a guy. Is, but this is the thing about the guy as well, because at the end of each show, for the charities are raising, he actually comes out front of house with his bucket. Yeah. And the you legend can, that is in McKellen. You can his hand. We, 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 we pop mummy into his bucket yeah, and he's, he's there. Right there. He's just been on stage for three hours, yeah. but he will stand front of house and make sure that he says thank you to every single person. I mean, Come on, guys. my my heart is filled with joy. It absolutely is. Anyway, let's wrap it up. So, for on stage with Ian McKellen, um, Tolkien, Shakespeare, and others, and, and you, you. I yeah. think it is. Um, I bet you're wondering how many stars. Well, for this uh, performance, we are going to give five. Five stars. The full full house I really guys enjoyed it. you're not going to get this opportunity again it's such a sadness tinged in his performance when he's talking about all of these great actors that he's worked alongside and got Boy, to know are there many. and called friends who are now not here anymore yeah. guys mortality is something which is sort of very present in this piece and i think he's just acknowledging his advancing years hopefully i mean his mother stepmother his family have lived to over a hundred yes so hopefully he'll still be with us in 20 years he's time but guys guy. he says if you get the opportunity to see someone you admire even passingly on stage take your chance and that is a reason to see this piece although it's sold out I think that well <laughs> saying that there are still standing spaces available yeah you can get in I almost if you said really standing try. seats please don't say Neither that standing spaces available so yeah. I think if you turn up yeah you probably get a space yeah. and I recommend you do you should it's something to see but that's just what I think and just what I think what do you think let us know down below be sure you caught this on the road um, or what are your McKellen memories we'd love to hear from you. We're the Breaker Leggers. And we'll catch you again soon. Bye! Bye.